This project is called Animal Estates 1.0 New York City. It's the first edition of a new series of projects I'm doing around the country where I'm making homes for animals uh, where people live, in cities, in suburbs, um, on private property, at institutions, things like that. For this project in New York, I've made homes for 12 animals that used to live where we're standing right now um, at the Whitney Museum. So the most important one is the beaver. So of course we have the beaver pond here. There is the um, eagle's nest, which is up on the entry portico. There are homes for the wood duck, uh, bobcat, uh, salamander, turtle, mason bee, uh, bats, flying squirrel, and the opossum. For each edition of the Animal Estates Project, I look for local experts that I can work with that will somehow inform the project. So the real inspiration for this project came from the Manahata Project, which is uh, founded by Eric Sanderson, a landscape ecologist. Well, I think the last 10 years he's been doing research on what the island of Manhattan looked like 400 years ago uh, before the European settlers arrived and getting a very accurate picture of what the animals and the plants and the flora and fauna and the landscape looked like. So I used that as my inspiration and decided for this um, version of the project to go back 400 years, find out what animals lived here, and then make homes for them to move back in. I'm thinking about this as a development of model homes so that when people are on the street looking at these and reading the bronze plaques identifying the animals, they can um, get inspiration for the animal estates they could build in their own private properties. After the run of the exhibition on June 1st, the plan is for these model homes to go out into uh, the area surrounding the city, that people will take these and put them on their private property and animals will move into them.